Hey guys, Brandon here with Eldek. We have our Tyson 2 embedded development kits, so let's open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so we have the box here. On the front, we can see the company logo, the design verification company. Flipping, or flipping around to the back, we can see some contact information if you ever need to get a hold of us. Uh, everything's contained in this nice nifty little white sleeve, so let's take a look and see what's inside. So of course the Tyson 2 embedded development kit does come with the Tyson 2 board itself. We also have a copy of Riviera Pro, our own verification platform. And some uh, media to help get you started. So let's take a closer look at everything. So first of all, we're gonna have a flash drive here. This is gonna contain some PDFs of documentation for the board, such as technical specifications or overviews to help get you started. And then we also have a micro SD card here that's gonna contain an image of Linux for you that uh, is fully compatible with the Tyson 2, so you can plug that in, boot it, and uh, run Linux on your board. And then we also have here a USB to mini USB uh, cord. This will be used to connect to the UART adapter on the Tyson 2 board. And uh, as mentioned earlier, the Tyson 2 embedded development kit will come with a copy of Riviera Pro. Uh, that, that's including the license for the software, so you'll just have to go ahead and download that. And then contact the Aldec licensing department to uh, get you started there. The uh, Riviera Pro is a great, uh, great software for your uh, simulation and verification needs. It does advanced debugging and uh, it should help you get you started on your designs and that can be implemented on the Tyson 2 itself. And then finally we have the Tyson 2 board. So to power the board it's going to take a looks like a six pin PCIe power connector uh, running at 12 volts I believe and then once powered we can use this switch here on the bottom for uh, on and off. In the center of the board, we can see the uh, kind of most important component, the Zinc 7045 SOC. Uh, it, contains a so it contains an ARM processor as well as FPGA, giving you the software uh, flexibility and hardware flexibility for a very comprehensive design. We also have here on the top two FMC connectors. Those will allow you to connect two daughter boards for any, uh, for any complicated design you may need. And let's see, what else do we have here on the top? We've got a couple of push buttons. Those will be used for reset of the various parts of the board, such as, program or such as processor and programmable logic. We also have our JTAG connector, and as well as uh, several different switches for configuration of the device. Um, looking on the side here, we can see the peripherals. So first up here is looks like a HDMI adapter. Uh, we also have mini USB that will be that that will be used to connect to the UART interface as mentioned earlier. We also have Ethernet as well as four USB 2.0 connectors. Uh, on the bottom, we can see four banks of DDR3 RAM, each being 256 for a gig total of memory. Uh, we also have our user uh, switches here that can be used for your uh, for your own design, implemented in your own design as well as the micro SD slot here. So the SD card that comes with the package can just be inserted there. You can boot up Linux and get started pretty easily. So there's the uh, Tyson 2 board. And then of course we have our software as well as our documentation and Linux and adapter to get you started with the kit. All right, thanks for watching.